Hello and welcome to Basic Medical Sciences. If this is your first time, please make sure you subscribe so that you won't miss any of our latest videos. So in this video, we are talking about alpha hemolytic streptococci, right? So uh, this bacteria actually cause partial hemolysis, all right? Are forming a green pigment around the colonies, right? And that will be uh, hemoglobin, which will be destroyed there, right? So uh, the main species found in this group are Streptococcus pneumonia and Viridans streptococci group, all right? So let's start with Streptococcus pneumonia. Right, this bacteria normally colonizes the nasopharynx. It is an encapsulated bacteria, right? So it is a polysaccharide capsule. So from now on, encapsulated bacteria will be represented by this black coat. Streptococcus pneumonia is usually described as lancet-shaped diplococci. Sometimes they can say it's arranged in pairs, right? It's the same as a, a diplococci. Right, so to differentiate a streptococcus pneumonia uh, from viridan streptococci, as you are going to see at the end of this video, streptococcus pneumonia is actually biosoluble, meaning to say it cannot grow in bio. And also, it is optokin sensitive, right? It's sensitive to, to this uh, drug called optokin, right? Uh, as an additional point, you just need to remember that a streptococcus pneumonia is a facultative anaerobe. Look at the diseases which are caused by streptococcus pneumonia. So the diseases can be remembered by the pneumonic mops. Yes, I mean the real mop, right? So this will be for meningitis, otitis media, pneumonia, and sinusitis, right? Or sinusitis, the inflammation of the sinuses, right? So streptococcus pneumonia is actually the number one cause of all these conditions, right? And otitis media here, particularly in children, yeah, it's just an additional point. Uh, and on pneumonia, uh, you need to know that streptococcus pneumonia is a number one cause of community-acquired pneumonia, right? An additional point, as always. The pneumococcus infection is associated with rust sputum, right? If you see rust sputum, just to suspect a pneumococcus, right? Pneumococcus is same as streptococcus pneumonia, right? And the sputum looks like this. Right, so streptococcus pneumonia has two important virulence factors. Uh, I, I mentioned one of them, which is the capsule. You need to know that some strains do not have capsule. So if it doesn't have a capsule, it means it's not virulent. No capsule, no virulence. So the second virulence factor is IgA protease. Right, so IgA protease is actually an enzyme which cleaves the IgA immunoglobulins. So I will be representing it using this symbol. So the cleaving of IgA protease enables colonization of mucosa. Right, this IgA protease is also secreted by Haemophilus influenza, right? particularly type B and Neisseria species. So if you add streptococcus pneumonia here, you come up with the pneumonic shin, right? Shin for streptococcus pneumonia, Haemophilus influenza, and Neisseria, right? Neisseria species. Asplenic individuals, thus people without spleen at all, and those with functional asplenia, right? This is be individuals with sickle cell anemia. These individuals have a higher risk of infection by strep pneumo, and not only strep pneumo, but other encapsulated bacteria, because 
uh, the spleen plays an important role in elimination of encapsulated pathogens. Now, let's talk about treatment of uh, infections caused by strep pneumo, right? On number one, we have macrolides, right? And I just, I, I'm lazy, guys. So, I just uh, represented the macrolides by the mnemonic S, right? This will be for azithromycin, clarithromycin, and erythromycin. Azithromycin clarithromycin and erythromycin right we can also use third generation cephalosporins like ceftriaxone actually there is a vaccine for strep pneumo right so this vac there are two actually the first one is pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine with no conjugated protein right so this is also known as PPSV23. This vaccine is used in adults and it actually uh, stimulates the production of IgM antibodies. The other vaccine is known as pneumococcal conjugate vaccine or PCV13, right? So as the name suggests, it is conjugated with a protein. Now this vaccine is for children and you just need to remember that it also stimulates the production of IgG, right, in addition to IgM, right? So the first one, PPSV23, here, this one, is for, it, it, it stimulates the production of IgM, and this one, tighten below, for IgM and IgG. Now let's talk about the very dense group streptococci, right? So, these bacteria are actually part of normal flora of the oropharynx. If you remember well, Streptococcus pneumonia is part of normal flora of the nasopharynx, right? You can remember it that way. Streptococcus mutans and Streptococcus mitis are found in the mouth, right? They start with M. Both of them start with the M. Uh, streptococcus mutants, streptococcus mutants, they cause dental caries, right? Streptococcus sanguinis, right? It makes dextrans that binds to fibrin platelet aggregates on the damaged heart valves, causing subacute bacterial endocarditis, right? So usually the valve which get affected is the mitral valve because in population, in general, is the one which is uh, mostly damaged, right? Oh, you already know that it's a gram-positive alpha hemolytic cocci, so I don't want to repeat it, okay? Right, so to differentiate it with streptococcus pneumonia, I said it, and I'm saying it again. At the end, I will say it again so that it will stick, Right. Viridan streptococci are actually optokin resistant and bioinsoluble, meaning to say they are not affected by optokin and they can grow in bio. How do you remember this? Viridan's group streptococci live in the mouth because they are not afraid of the chin. They are not afraid of optokin. They are optokin resistant. Simple as that. Now we covered a staph aureus, staph epidemides, staph saprophyticus, streptococcus pneumonia, and veridan streptococci. So just a review, streptococcus pneumonia is encapsulated, while the veridan streptococci are not capsulated, right? They don't have any capsule. Above that, uh, streptococcus pneumonia is biosoluble and it's sensitive to optokin. It's optokin sensitive. While it's the viridan streptococci is insoluble in bio and is, and is resistant to optokin, right? And again, they cause partial hemolysis Right, and this is just a rule of thumb. You need to know that uh, 
streptococci or streptococcus they don't have catalysts they are catalyst negative you just need to know that right and the other thing guys are in terms of things like motility what what i will tell if the bacteria is motile i will tell you that this bacteria is motile if not i'm not going to talk about motility too uh so that i will only give you high yield information as i promised if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up leave a comment on the comment section and most importantly subscribe what are you waiting for just subscribe so that you won't miss any of our latest videos until next time head bow